Okay, so part two, we're going to tackle all of the numpad uh, functions, as well as the space bar because it's relevant. So uh, we'll start with the uh, the transport kind of buttons here. So the cycle, which is this guy right there, and you can actually, when you hover over these buttons, it tells you on the screen uh, the shortcut for it. So num. Uh, backslash, I think it's called, which is boom, right there. It turns the cycle on and off. Um, the num zero button is the stop button. The enter, the numpad enter button is play. Zero is stop. Um, the num star button is the record and the uh, yeah the num period is uh, bring it back to zero so the very beginning of the project those are the main um, main transport functions the space bar is the same as the enter button in this case where all it does is start, but it also stops. Now, when you hit the stop button twice, so it's stopped now, and if I hit stop again, it goes back, it sends this little, uh, this, not locator, but whatever this thing is called, it brings it back to the original spot you had it before you started playing. With the space bar, can't do that because it's, just, it's also a play button so it's just gonna play stop and play stop play stop there is no function to bring it back um, what else do we got here so now the other buttons here this forward uh, right here the number uh, rewind and fast forward and slow forward and skip and all that stuff so uh, numpad plus is the nudge button and I think it's nudging it if we zoom in here we can see all these uh, bars here 63 64 65 nudge okay so it doesn't actually snap to any grid it's just nudging it forward by a small amount um, that's the plus key and the minus key is nudging it backwards so plus and minus nudges it forward and backwards um, the same buttons if you hold down control on a PC or command on a Mac plus those buttons aha there's the function when you hold down the control and these buttons is what advances it per bar so the control plus or minus on a PC, command plus or minus on a Mac. And actually a Mac doesn't have a numpad on the uh, its stock keyboard, so I'm not sure if these actually work on a Mac because there is no numpad. But if you have the little plus minus on the top of the keyboard, you might be able to use those in lieu of these ones over here on the numpad. Not 100% sure, I don't use Cubase on a Mac, so I don't know. Um, all right, so now if you hold down Shift and plus or minus, it actually uh, fast forwards and fast rewinds. So you have rewind, forward, uh, nudge, and move by bar, and fast and slow, rewind, fast forward, all of that stuff. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that was clear. Uh, yeah. What else have we got here? We have um, numpad 1 and numpad 2. It is um, start the thing at the left locator, numpad 1. Uh, move the thing to the right locator, numpad 2. 
So they move it to the left and right locators. That's numpad one and two. If you do control numpad one and two, or on a Mac, there is no numpad. So I'm just gonna continue talking as if it's a PC and not a Mac. If, uh, yeah, if anytime I'm talking about control, just remember that control for a Mac is command and the alt for a PC is the option button on a on a Mac. So just keep that in mind when I'm explaining these. So where was that? So control and numpad one and numpad two is actually setting the locators. So instead of moving to the locators, you are setting the locators. Um, yeah, there's that. Also what you can do is you can hold down the control key and point with your mouse and click with the left click on the, the mouse button and that will set the left locator and if you hold down the alt button and click with the mouse button it sets the right locator. So those are two different ways to do it. With the mouse or if you have the uh, the mover bar thing, whatever it's called, in place where you want to set the locator, then you just hit the control two or control one, depending on left to right, whichever one you want. Um, now, the rest of the numbers, so if you hit control pad one, two, that's the set stuff. If you have uh, control three through nine, you will set a marker and it's as per whatever number you're inputting. So set marker eight is control eight and wherever the bar thingy is, it'll move it to that location. Um, that's the control and then shift numpad number. So one through nine is to go to the particular um, markers that you have put. So three, four, and eight, I can go back to three, four, and eight, just by holding the shift and then punching in the num numpads. And it's the same thing on the top of the numbers here on the top of the keyboard. Shift and three, shift and four, shift and eight, and control, control number is setting the marker as well. So it's just this, the same thing, but with the different set of numbers. And uh, that covers the numpad stuff. So that's quite short, but that is all essentially relevant for all of this uh, transport stuff. And actually what I'm gonna add to this because it should be in this video anyways, I have it in the part three, but the punch in and punch out uh, buttons right here. Punch in and punch out. As you can see the shortcuts are I and O. So I is set the punch in, which is an auto punch in actually. And uh, the O is auto punch out. So that is relevant in this case because it's part of the locators and part of the transport and all that kind of kind of jazz so yeah hopefully that helps um see you in the next video